place is called Gdynia. It's a little bit uh, west of Gdansk and uh, west of Sopot. So Sopot is a very small tourist type of town. And the ironic part about this place is that uh, oh, this Baltic Sea, one in front of me. This is the first time I see Baltic Sea. Very sunny, beautiful day today. And the ironic part of it, it's like uh, kind of reminds me of Odessa. Uh, and another ironic part about it is that uh, I was in Odessa for the first time exactly one year ago. One year ago, uh, now Odessa is being bombed. Uh, people are being killed and uh, who knows if I'll ever be able to go back there. But for now, instead of the Black Sea, we have the Baltic Sea. The only difference between Gdynia and Odessa is that it's gonna sound really funny, but like the sun is shining at me from a completely different place. It seems like it's like way more horizontal. Well, obviously different uh, latitude, so makes sense. But the great thing about Gdynia really is the food. I think the food is like full of these the pikanki, all of these waffles. It's like a giant uh, Belgian waffle out. It's not good if you wanna be on a diet. So it turns out like we got off on the wrong train where our hotel is located and now we're gonna have to backtrack one station. But it's okay, we saw a new little town. Well, that looks like a pretty nice looking building over here. Wow. Yeah, I noticed um, Sopot, unlike uh, uh, Gid. Gdynia. Sopot, unlike Gdynia, has a lot of German influence and you see a lot of these, um, I don't know, this German style, like a lot of architecture with decorations, with ornaments, with like, uh, I don't know if it's called like Baroque or not, or something like that, but it looks like there's a lot of different styles in one and uh, that is a stark comparison to Gdynia, which has quite a bit of like, um, I would say, Polish maybe influences or there's a lot it's a lot more plain let's just put it that way I wouldn't say it's like Soviet looking but um, it does have a bit more of that than, uh, than than this place for sure like so um, I think that it probably because Sopot has a lot more in common with Gdansk which is to the east of Sopot and um, yeah but uh, it definitely like a hidden little gem and it's not to be missed We have a pretty rainy day today and of course uh, our number one priority is Oreo. It's like we didn't even take anything for ourselves, no umbrella, no change of clothes, but for Oreo, oh, he has everything. He has blankets, toys, food, you know, anything to keep him from, from getting hysterical and having a tantrum and, uh, you know, because that's really uncontrollable, uncontrollable dog. So this beautiful Sopot trip is coming to an end, I guess. Uh, so we went to Gdynia and Sopot. And um, like I said, a very little picturesque town with lots of things to do and see. And uh, especially crazy good seafood and cafes and pizza and whatever else you may, you may want. I think I like uh, uh, Sopot a little bit better because it's very picturesque, very picturesque, very European, like I said, German 
influenced architecture with diff many different colors and styles and it's like mm -hmm. we were not in Gdansk so I cannot tell how it compares to Gdansk um, but Gdansk doesn't really have much of a waterfront I think it's a lot more spread out as well but these two are kind of underrated places and uh, and they're pretty good for like a one day trip or something like that if you may want to do mm -hmm. Parishka got used to our trip, he's at home now because he used to cry like crazy and now you can film him, he's like very calm mm -hmm. Film him, film him Where he is You see? 